guys, it's Mary Mary again. You know what, besides the white or the green tea, anyone can get a humidifier. This was $30 at Walgreens. It's tiny, I like it. Uh, with a, mo a month's use though, it already salted over at the opening, so you have to clean that out with like some kind of CLR or whatever. So let me bend down now and get basket number two. Basket number three, I'm quite, kind of uh, afraid to touch because of the nut products in there. All right, so this I bought a week ago, Earth Therapies Volcanic Ash. I think ash is like one of the purest substance on the planet for exfoliation. I just keep forgetting to use it. <clears throat> this is um, just an experiment. Petroleum jelly. I think this was pretty oily. Let's see. Kind of like Elizabeth Arden's 8-hour protection, which that's pretty much what she has in there, and that's Paula Bagone's problem with her is it's so expensive and it's um, petroleum, but there's a good mix of petroleum with, I think with eczema, there are certain Vaselines, like Vaseline, I don't really want to put on my skin. Here's the 8-hour an example of the, no, the ceramides, a different variety of ceramides. Uh, let's see. This was cera originally Ceramide Advanced Extreme, and it doesn't say what's on here. What's in here? I'd love to know. Um, I haven't used this yet. I'm kind of turned off to Burt's Bees, though, because I know one of their lipsticks has got a lot of something in here. This is what was supposed to help my skin if the Basha didn't, and it didn't. I could not put this on my face. It's um, water, and the second ingredient is steric acid. I don't know. I know there's good alcohols. This might be one of them. I know Cetal is, I think, but something that, I don't know. Um, this surprised me. Advanced therapy relieves severely dry skin. It has a scent to it, but um, it's like creamy. It's not like as thick as the that Vaseline product. And it, it has a scent to it. This I loved. And this probably will work for you if you like the Jergens, the Tanner. If that doesn't bother you, this is Total Moisture from Vaseline. I was very leery about this. But it has um, water glycerin, then the stearic acid. Petrolatum isopropyl palmate avena sativa. So that's the oat straw extract. So this is worth a whirl. Um, love this. Look at that with the aloe in there. You know I love the juice. This is the second one I've purchased. I can only get this at like TJ Maxx. I figured if that works good, then use this in the shower. This is conditioner. And what else do I have in here? Here's the shampoo that strips the color out of my hair. It doesn't lather, but at least it's, you know, not hopefully stripping my skin. Here's some CeraVe so that you know, yes, I love CeraVe. Here's one that I'm currently working on. I was able to get a lot of CeraVe, um, one to get Walgreens books but another for a store had a 50% off sale. So um, here's Ole Henriksen African Red Tea. This smells like the best kind of Easter basket, and you can tell I'm using it. I love that. Just to change things up. This to exfoliate so that the moisturizers work better. I got this for $12.99 at... TJ Maxx, deep cleanse, smooth, and refine with honey, African red tea, pomegranate, and then at the end is pumpkin. I have a pumpkin patch in the back um, this summer, and if I just touch the inside of the gourds when I carve them, it drives my skin nuts. But for that reason, do, I don't use this sugar glow face scrub. They got to be nuts. I um, use it on my body, not on my face. I love the yes to carrots. The zinc pyrethene in self some blue. Someone told my mom that's good for eczema, but she confuses eczema with psoriasis. 
but I figure, what the heck. So I have Salsam Blue shampoo, and I'm using the Yes to Carrots. I love Yes to Carrots. It doesn't, I don't know if it moisturizes my skin so much. This is a mask. But it doesn't harm it, so I figure I'm good to go. If I can figure out, if someone could just say, here's the system, you know, put the acid on, then do this, then do that, I'd be fine. Um, here's the Nourishing Baby Lotion. This I don't like as much. The Grapeseed. Uh, no, this is... Yeah, um, Grapeseed Oil is in here. I don't like it as much. It's not as calming as Carrot. And these, these products I get at Ross. Here's another. I haven't used this yet. From Juice Organics. And then here's a African Red Tea from TJ Maxx that I use on my lips. I also have um, a few more tins. I don't like sticking my hand in tins, though. Just like I don't like sticking my hands in tubs. But I had these two that I do use. I've had these since the summer, though. Um... use this up. Sarah Therapeutic Hand Cream, but I didn't notice anything great. It's dimethicone 1%. You can go to the dollar store and get dimethicone in the Dermacell. Here's the nappy cream. I just don't know what I'm going to do with. <laughs> and then here's the Eucerin. This open, you know, cracked skin, this is going to hurt a little. So, I don't know. So anyways, that is pretty much my winter mess. If you can help me figure out a plan to maximize all this wonderfulness, I would so greatly appreciate it. <sighs> Thank you for watching.